describe uh, what his plans were for 150 2015. Bill. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, this is this is um, uh, consideration to approve the purchase of a caterpillar uh, uh, backhoe to replace a 1999 Case 580 Super Owl backhoe uh, that's in bad need of repair. And it's actually unsafe to work around. We use it to load uh, salt, and that's the only thing we use the old one for. Uh, this would be a caterpillar uh, 430 F2. Uh, uh, 430 F2. Um, the purchase price is $101,887. And uh, they have provided a, uh, a, a list of uh, uh, purchase uh, prices, our uh, financing options for us, if we so choose. But I'm, also, I'm, I'm requesting that the board authorize the uh, purchase of this backhoe for in, in the amount of one hundred and one thousand eight hundred eighty-seven dollars. And that is on the state bid list, right? Yes. Um, they, we're actually, uh, the trading value on our old one is uh, $15,500. And, and that price is 101? Or? One, yeah, that's reflected in the, uh, the total cost of 101887 That's after the trade, yes. That's after the trade. And just to clarify something you said, that the old one is unsafe. We do have a newer 2009 that the, the department uses all the time. So that's actually a 2010. A 10, okay. I mean, when are we, they haven't been using that unsafe one routinely on our roads. It sits in a salt pump. We always need that second loader for the second salt pump. <laughs> Questions for Bill? Um, can we have uh, an opportunity to decide whether we'll pay cash or um, finance over a short period of time? Get it ordered. So what is the best the <coughs> going to be? What's the um, uh, time frame? Um, they're, they're telling me uh, uh, right now uh, four months, four to six months. For the yeah, there's a bad challenge here. It could be sooner. Do you, you get some options for the financing? They give you the rates for the two purchases. They did. It's 2.25% uh, financing. And uh, I have a uh, handout here for, to the, for everybody. Well, we'll have the four to six months to decide how we want to pay for it. Is that correct? That is correct. And I'll make a motion that we approve the purchase. It's been moved and seconded. Those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. <laughs> the motion carries. What is it? Do you have an extra copy to show? Did you hear that, Elizabeth? What? 12 months, unlimited hours. 12 months and unlimited hours, yes. 151 2015. That item we talked about it last month. This highlights it on top of the our meeting room here have uh, developed stress cracks in them. And uh, we want to find a reason temporarily patch them, seal them with silicone, but it's not going to last. It's going to keep uh, stretching. Oh, and you got a price on you? Yeah, unfortunately, the manufacturer uh, of the uh, current skylights utilized in this building are they're no longer being manufactured. That manufacturer is now defunct. Um, there is a business, uh, Crystal Daylight Systems, that has taken over the molds and uh, they make a uh, replacement that is exact dimensions of the, of the unit we're looking at. All three units um, delivered to the tour door are 3272. And installation? Installation more than likely could be performed by a public works department. But we would be pricing, we would be pricing for labor, right? Outside, just, just, just the just the cost of the material was uh, three thousand two hundred and seventy-two dollars. Now, now our issue is they're, they're always blocked like this with these screens so during the day, um, and I, I don't know how many times people use our boardroom for our meeting room for something during the day when they bring down the screen. But it seems like once somebody closed them, there's always left closed. They should have really been left open all the time, just closed for the 
rare occasion when somebody is using this. What happens if they're open right now and we get stripped off? No, no, that's green. They're not leaking out. <laughs> But that, that, that screen doesn't block any water. If water gets through, it's going to come down through. All right, I'll make a motion. To purchase those uh, from Bristol Daylight at a price of $3,272. I'll second the motion. Good move and second it. Those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 The motion carries. Uh, for 152-2015, it's the approval of our minutes of the regular meeting on July 6th. Second. And moved. Second. And second, that those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Aye, the motion carries. Uh, for 153-2015, it's the minutes of the special meeting on Thursday, July 23rd. That will be the meeting with the school district. Second. And second, that those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Aye, the motion carries. Uh, for number 154-2015, it's for the general fund invoices uh, through the month of July. Motion so moved. Been moved. Second. And second. And those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those no. opposed? One no note Been recorded as such. Um, Bill, when we're at the well, if anyone's here, what you have to say? Well, th thank you, Mr. Chairman. I only have a few things to, uh, to mention tonight. Um, uh, at the top of my list is the uh, uh, work that we've completed over there with the coffee pad and the uh, electricians completed the conduit work for the uh, placement of the uh, emergency generator and uh, Mr. Genuso has arranged for the delivery of that uh, generator for tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. and uh, we'll offload that and send it onto the pad and uh, at that point the uh, electrician and uh, Coleman Mitchell will uh, connect the gas up to it. Uh, also, uh, uh, keeping in this area, the uh, benches for the park have been ordered. Um, I was able to, uh, to uh, get a, a color scheme of gold uh, bench and back, or yellow bench and back, with a, uh, a blue frame. Uh, delivery for those is expected uh, in late August. At that time, you may want to consider uh, some type of building cutting ceremony once we have those installed. And then uh, one other uh, uh, note that uh, is floating around out there uh, in my head for the future, um, because uh, I'd, I'd like to do a project every year in the park. Last year we put the uh, walkways in around Pavilion 2 and 3, and this year the playgrounds. Uh, something that I think that uh, we should probably consider uh, is a handicap accessible area for the uh, fishing in that uh, creek over there. And uh, there's an area just uh, on the other side of this bridge here that I think we could probably uh, do something with to make that accessible for people in wheelchairs uh, to fish over there. It's a nice hole and it's, it's relatively flat. Wouldn't take much work. And that might, that's on the radar for next year. And that's pretty much all I have uh, to, uh, for my report this evening. Thank you. So I, I did have one question for you. It might be a little bit early in the year. Um, did you have any idea what the salt prices will be for this winter coming up? Or are they releasing any information? I haven't seen anything. That should be coming up in the next couple months. Uh, it should be. Yes. Okay. All right. 